welcome to your five minutes of self-care with myself, Geraldine Hardy. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the last guiding principle within the philosophy of yoga, and it's called Ishvara Pranidhana. We can somehow translate it as devotion, surrendering, and I would say to just trust the process, trust life. These two last guiding principles we have gone through, which is self-discipline, so showing up for oneself, and self-study, observing yourself, and being able to become aware of our actions, our thoughts, and our emotions. If you combine these two, at the end of the day, what you have been able to do, giving your best, we then trust the process and let go. You, for instance, work on a project and you have given it your best. You have been showing up for yourself. You've been very disciplined. You have met all the deadlines. Then you look at it from the perspective, okay, what could I have done differently? How can I maybe communicate better on this certain subject? Or how can I actually draft this proposal better? And then at the end of the day, when you submit it, you just let go. You trust and surrender that you have done the best as you could at that very time and stage in your life. Why is this so important? Because how we are brought up or how we get taught by society is to perform, perform and perform. We are not actually being graded or let's say judge upon how how much we did like what is the best we we have done it's more results driven i like to offer you a totally different version of seeing this to really just enjoy the process getting to a destination rather than looking at the result and the end result now this is really easy said than done and believe me because i've been in business for 27 years and you know what if you're in sales people look at at the end of the day at the end results that's what it is not realizing that many times it's long term and it can take longer it can take six months one year two years but it's sustainable and you create a relationship so this week i like you to just Maybe reflect upon if you believe in something greater than yourself. I will not tell you to believe in God, source, divine universe. I'm just saying to you that within our being, which is multidimensional, it is very good to also nourish that part of spirituality. And if you can just let go and surrender to the process and just trust. Trust life, trust the universe, source, divine, God, whatever you want to call it. To just let go and give yourself the space and time to observe what unfolds in front of you. And many times miracles happen, believe it or not, if you become aware of it. If you're very conscious of synchronicities, which are not coincidences. Today is the full moon, or it was the full moon in Sagittarius, which is a super full moon. And it's also called strawberry moon. It is a very potent moon. I'm sorry, I'm having my dog running around left, right and center. So if you hear him in the background, that's Ninja. This full moon is so important to learn to maybe let go, close the chapters that you need to have closed and trust and trust, surrender, and let go. Let's see if you can just this week, sometimes when you feel like you wanna use control and you wanna push something through, if you can somehow let it go. Namaste. Namaste.